Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't even met before, my name is Shiv. Hello, if you're coming back, then welcome. In today's video, I have a huge Boots Super Drug Beauty haul for you. This is my bag right here. It's pretty heavy. I got some expensive bits. I got some cheap bits. There's a bundle of things in here that I want to show you. And if you would like to see what I got, then please carry on watching. Before you do, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I upload a new video. I'd really appreciate it. This is the third video. I filmed in a row so I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit croaky <laughs> but let's just carry on into the haul. So starting off with boots which is to be honest my favourite thing just because I didn't realise that the boots in the Milton Keynes shopping centre has a Fenty beauty section and a Huda Beauty kind of area of things. So I got super excited and I picked two Fenty Beauty products up which I'm very excited about. The only Fenty Beauty product I have now is the Metal Moon Highlighter which I don't really use too much because it's very very almost white on my skin that leaves a bit of a cast so I can only use it for like for certain looks so I don't really reach for it very often but I did have an amazing experience with the foundation when I first got it when it like Fenty first launched. So I picked up the Pro Filter Instant Touch Concealer. I'm going to put it honest I haven't actually heard anyone talk about this so I have no idea if it's any good and I got the shade 120 obviously we had to just like shop with masks on and everything so you can't really do like normal shade matching however what they did is took like a very long cotton swab and they let you take the end of it they haven't touched then put it on your hand, then you can do whatever you want from it from your hand. So the first shade, I think it was one one zero, was like way too pale, but I did want a light concealer, so I settled for 120, which is very pale, but not as pale as one one zero. This is what I got. It looks like this. I will just pop a little bit on my hand to show you. I'm so excited. Um, but I thought it could be really good for like brightening underneath the eyes. You can tell next to tan that it's very pale. Obviously, I have like bronzer and tan and everything like that. It's very like quick setting. Like I can feel that's going to last for a long time. So yeah, I'm very excited about that. And if all goes well when using it, then I'll probably pick up a few different colours. Maybe at like a later date or something. I don't know. But yeah, I'm really excited. They have a Fenty Beauty concealer in my life. This was £19, which to be honest, actually isn't that bad. I originally was going to pick up a concealer from Milani, which was like £15.50. And I was like, oh, well, I may as well get the Fenty one. So Fenty, you want. <laughs> then I had to get a gloss bomb. I got the shade Sweet Mouth, which is like a pinky colour. And they didn't have like the original gloss bomb, whatever it's called. But I've just heard amazing things about this lip gloss. If I can get into the packet, that would be amazing. And this was £17. <gasps> it's so pretty. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It's just absolutely stunning, isn't it? Like that packaging though. So gorgeous. Um, and it's like a pinky colour. I'm going to just take it out, see if I can smell it. I didn't actually smell it when I had a look at them. So nice. It smells like peachy. And then I'm going to swatch it over here. Just like a pearly pink lip gloss i think that is so nice i'm so excited to have this in my life i'm gonna feel like a true queen thanks to rihanna so yeah i've got my fenty concealer my fenty gloss we're upping our game this year then i spotted a little huda beauty wishful skin counter and i was always really intrigued by the chin lift sculpting sheet mask which you basically like strap around your ear basically like the masks that we're wearing around the shops now but it doesn't cover your nose it just kind of goes around your jaw section and it's supposed to like give you a bit of a sculpted look obviously it wouldn't be like a permanent thing that would be more to like your diet and stuff I don't know but to be honest I don't know if this is a little bit of a gimmick but I just really wanted to try it and thought this could be fun I'll definitely be doing an Instagram video on these products because it looks like a lot of fun it's got peppermint niacinamide which is good peptides and stuff so it does actually have some really nice ingredients but I'm just more so intrigued by this I have no idea what this is going to be like if it's going to be going to be a complete gimmick or just be like a really cool experience so yeah and this was eight pounds which to be honest isn't actually that bad but we'll see if it's worth eight pounds when I use it then I also picked up the wishful skin thirst trout the packaging is really cool so yeah that one is basically just a sheet mask just a sheet mask goes you've got hyaluronic acid caffeine aloe vera holly hock rose I don't know what that is so that's just a fancy type of rose but I got that so at least I've got two of the wishful skin face masks I was looking at the moisturizers and the cleanser and stuff but the moisturizer is honey and I am vegan now I the beauty side to me being vegan is a little bit complicated. I'm just slowly like introducing 
more vegan and more cruelty free things into my beauty world. It will take some time, but I'm not going to actively buy it if I know it has animal products in it, if that makes any sense. So I'm not super strict, but we're getting there. Anyway, so I didn't get the moisturizing, also it was super expensive. It was like above like 40 pound. And I was looking at the cleansing balm and again, it was like 40 or 30 pounds. So I just thought, no, like you don't need it. So I just figured I would try these out and see how I get along with it. And then we'll think about maybe investing more into wishful skin. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to try these, especially the chin lift mask, like this should be fun. And then, much on the cheaper side, I just got the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which was $3.99. I used to use this powder in every single makeup video. If you've been a subscriber of mine for a long time, you know how much I love this powder. It's just the best. I got the shade Peach Glow, but they've got a translucent one as well. It's just such a good powder. Like, it really does hold, like, any oily coming through keeps your makeup in place and I just absolutely love this powder so I got another top up of that and recently I've just been really struggling when it comes to face powders so I figured I would go back to my roots and know what I like so that was everything I got from Boots I'm just going to quickly show you a bath bomb because I got one from Lush I only got one so there's no point me doing a Lush haul and just showing you one bath bomb so I thought I may as well just show you in this video this is the Avo bar which is like a citrusy one looks like this Oh my god, it smells so good. I wish you could smell. smell a vision should be a thing. Citrusy. I don't smell any avo, but I'm guessing it has avocado oil in it. I'm not entirely sure. This was so nice. I'm go I am not a very often bath user. Um, so I will probably use that when I'm like really feeling like I need some TLC. Again, I love the citrus smells. It has like a citrus lemony orangey smell to it it's so nice and when i came home with my shopping bags my bags have been in my room for two hours and i could still just smell the lush bath bomb like ages away so the scent is very strong which i like okay and i also got a lipstick from beauty bay that i wanted to show you i got my friend one as well for her birthday and i was like i'm gonna get myself one as well so i got a doll beauty lipstick from beauty bay which comes in a super cute doll beauty very kind of on brand tube this is in the shade my love and it looks like this which is just kind of like a darker nude very similar to what i've got on actually and something that i would go for normally i'll give it a little swatch oh that's nice so it looks like that like a pinky kind of nude something that i would go for i think that's so nice i figured i'd give that a go and i love the doll beauty highlighter and their foaming lashes as well so first up from Superdrug, i picked up this face cover this is obviously just a reusable face mask for the times that we are facing we do have two boxes of the disposable like blue medical type masks in the house and just remember to cut off the strings if you do get rid of them obviously you should if they're the disposable ones but i just feel like i'm just throwing them away but then I'm like, but I'm, if there is there ever going to be a pandemic again? Should I just use them? I don't know. But I figured I'd just get this. It's also nicer to look at. <laughs> it's a leopard print design. I thought this was really cool. It's only three pounds, and obviously you can just stick it through the wash once you've used it. So yeah, I just picked that up to go with my vibe. Who knew that we would be buying face masks to match our outfits? There we go. And then I spotted some toothpaste on sale. I actually needed some new toothpaste. And I spotted the Beverly Hills formula, which is usually really expensive. They were having like a half price deal on. So I got the perfect white black toothpaste. You know, the toothpaste that look black when you brush them. I don't know like the science behind it. I think it's like charcoal and stuff, but it's got a whitening, cleaning booster, bacterial control. Very interesting. But I'm always up for whitening. If it's like anything oral health related, mouthwash, toothpaste, anything, I just just always pick the one that says whitening i will just i'm just a sucker for it really and that was two pounds 48 then i got two aussie products i think there was a deal on they were having two for seven pounds i've been being in need for a new leave-in conditioner because mine ran out and i got this this is the blonde hydration conditioning spray and obviously i have blonde ends i basically look brunette now but i'm having my hair done next month so i'll be more blonde again so yeah and you just spray it in your hair just like a leave-in conditioner i've always loved aussie products i haven't used them for ages and i also also got the three minute miracle blonde deep treatment for bleached blonde hair so yeah i picked that up i didn't get a shampoo and i kind of wish i had because i don't know like i washed my hair this morning and blow dried it and it already feels greasy can someone who's a hairdresser please let me know what shampoo is good for hair that has gets oily roots quickly but doesn't strip it so much so not like head and shoulders because this is just annoying because i have to I don't, I don't have to wash it every day anyway so yeah i got these two to kind of look after my hair 
picked up a nice shower gel. This was 98p. This is in the scent Tropical Rainforest. Exotic Papaya, definitely my type of shower gel. I just like fruity citrus things. It smells amazing. I do love Imperial Leather shower gels. I feel like the smell actually kind of lasts on your skin. Um, and we just needed some more shower gel and I just kind of want my own one. So I picked this up and I think it smells delicious. I also got this Style Expert Tease. I think it's like a super drug brand because it says exclusively for super drug on it. So number four, Taming Anti Frizz, frizz, frizz Serum. And I know I don't look like I have frizzy hair because my hair's very flat and stuck to my head, but I do get a lot of these like really annoying like flyaways that kind of come up here but when I freshly curl my hair you can kind of see them in photos and it really does my head in so I wanted to try this like maybe a little bit just like on the tips of my fingers like that and then just go over the frizzy bits and hopefully it won't make my hair look greasy so I'm going to give this a go I think the next time I do like my big curls if not I might just get one of those like little mascara wand brushes and do like the hair mascara but the frizz is really starting to bother me at the top like these little wispy bits here so I figured I'd give that a go if not I think it just could be quite nice just to smooth the ends of my hair if I'm doing curls and then I got some Tic Tacs. <laughs> these are just 100 fresh mint. I just feel like I just pop these in my bag if I just want to make sure my breath is nice and minty and I love Tic Tacs. They're not too like over powerful as well because you know some mint just feels like it's just like stripping your mouth. It's like too alcoholic. I don't know how to explain it. So I got those in the flavour fresh mint. Um, I just fell for these at the checkout and they're a pound. And I just bought them basically. The last thing that I got from my beauty haul is a body lotion. I picked up the Garnier Ultimate Blends Soothing Hydrating Lotion for the whole family. Well, I mean, it's mine, but yeah. Delicate oat milk and white almond cream. Hypoallergenic for dry and sensitive skin, non greasy, non sticky. I don't have sensitive skin, but my legs are very dry. So I just wanted to pick up a decent body lotion. I need to remember to use it every time I get out of the shower. I like that it has a pump as well. I got that. I think it was on offer. It was $3.95, which I think is really good. And you get 400 mils. I've actually realised that wasn't the last thing. That would have been a nice little ending. But the actual last thing I got was deodorant. So I stocked up on deodorant because there was an offer on and I now know that Mitchum the stick deodorant is the only one that I can literally rely on this sounds like an advert but it's not I promise that doesn't make me sweat or smell like I feel like I just I just sweat like I'm not a smelly person but like I do sweat you know like not profusely just like I need to make sure I have a decent deodorant on basically so and the spray ones just don't do anything for me but I like these the roll-ons that are like a liquid just make me feel a bit icky and stuff they don't really do anything but this Mitchum one the triple odor defense range is amazing I've got unscented and I also have the powder fresh as well the thing with the powder fresh deodorant if you're still watching because you might have exited up when I start talking about deodorants is that try not to put too much of it on because it can like ball up because it's basically got like powder in it to soak up the oil but yeah I really really like these deodorants so I just stocked up on them they were doing a two for four pound deal so I got two of those and that is everything from my Boots Super Drug Beauty haul I really hope you enjoyed watching and if you did please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alert when I upload a new video. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see coming up on my channel very soon. I know I've kind of sounded like a broken record at this stage, but just, and I'm sure it's the same for everyone to be honest, but this year's just been crazy. I've had a lot of stuff going on in my personal life that it's just been very heavy to deal with. So let me know what videos you want to see from me and I will add them to like my plan and keep going and we're going to keep uploading content and having fun and loving ourselves and being happy so that is the plan <laughs> but anyway thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time bye